Go, go. Yo, what's good, YouTube? May y'all tune in to Get Hip TV. As y'all can see from the title, we got Houston rapper D-Baby speaking out after rumors sparked that he was shot. So, man, I'm going to break that situation down, then I'm going to let y'all hear what D-Baby had to say. So, man, stay tuned for all that. But before we get into the video, make sure you smash that like button, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to stay hip whenever I post. But all right, y'all, let's get into it. So recently, ton of reports were put out stating that popular Houston rapper D-Baby Truck was reportedly shot up last night, leaving one dead and one in critical condition while they were at a gas station. Witnesses say four men pulled up with long guns. And along with posts down the timeline, the news reporters also reported on this as well. So are investigating after one person was killed and another was shot at a gas station in southeast Houston. At this hour, they are looking for the people responsible. Victor Jacobo is live at the scene on the 2400 block of South Wayside Drive with more. Victor, what are police saying this morning? Yeah, Houston police are saying that at this moment, their preliminary investigation appears to reveal that this looks like a drive-by style shooting at this gas station. I want to show you here how you can kind of see that some of the windows and doors boarded up. The attack appeared to be on a group of men who had stopped at this gas station. It happened just before 8 o'clock last night. The victim car, a black Cadillac Escalade, arrived at this gas station. Four men were inside, but two got out to shop inside the convenience store when they returned. Two suspect vehicles, a gray Dodge Charger and a gray Mercedes sedan, arrived. There were a total of four men between those two cars, and they were armed with long guns. Got out of their vehicles and started shooting at the victim car. Two of the men in the victim car got out to run for cover inside the store. One of those men was hit multiple times outside the store. The suspect cars then drove away. Two men who were shot were transported to hospitals. One pronounced dead at the hospital. He was 34. The other still in critical condition. He is 29. I do believe that th these individuals in the Escalade were targeted. Uh, and our homicide detectives uh, will be interviewing the two that we have uh, currently on scene uh, to gather more information as to what exactly occurred uh, on, the, on the scene today, tonight, at this location. Now, police are reviewing surveillance video right now. They say the four suspects are all Hispanic males and three were wearing white t-shirts and white pants and one was wearing a white t-shirt with black pants. Anyone with information is asked to contact Houston police or you can also submit an anonymous tip to Crime Stoppers. Now reporting live in Houston, Victor Jacobo, KHOU 11 News. Victor. So after all of this, people were speculating that D-Baby may have been one of the two men that were shot with one being deceased and one being wounded. But someone close by let people know that D-Baby was good and just had woke up. And findings later found out that the man that was killed was actually the son of the president of Chamber of Deputies in the Dominican Republic. So with all of this going around, D-Baby decided to jump on live and show his fans that he was all right, as well as let them hear some new music and tell people it's going to take more than that to take him out. So, man, I'm going to roll the clip and I'm going to let y'all see it. Wheel. Come on, Slum Wheel. You... Overseas, baby, you should know that. Come on now, man. Come on, I've been on you since middle school. You know these niggas can't get rid of me that easy, dog. They all feel like giving up. I just can't do that to you yet. I said, I feel like giving up. I ain't say I was. Come on now. Don't do me like that. Make sure I can lay the bill, but you know I ain't going nowhere yet, bro. It'll take more than 500 to get me out of this bitch. Baby, last night. Damn, I forgot how the song goes. God damn it. I almost had it. I ain't gonna lie to you. I thought, I, I thought we was good. My fault. Yeah. Oh, shit. Damn, I 
gotta be in my eyes. I gotta be in my eyes. Make me put clothes on, man. They ain't finna let me go in. No shirt. They been tripped on me for the past two days for walking in here with no shirt on. Should I just go against the grain one more time walking in out? I'll follow, I'm trying to follow the rules and put my. You know what? I need both of my hands, so what I'm about to go in here and grab. So I need like, give me like 10 minutes. Let me go handle my business. I'm finna be right back because I miss y'all. I miss y'all so much. You know what I'm saying? I'm stuck with this SDL. I mean, all this I ain't got nothing. I can't do a goddamn thing. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, shit. Let me take this shit off. I'm about to go home in a little bit. I'm gonna drop a video for y'all, and I ain't finna drop no old nothing. I'm gonna drop y'all something that I ain't plan on dropping until I was a free agent, but I guess I'm starting to realize life's too short to be holding on this good ass music, so I'm finna go ahead and drop some hot shit for y'all in a little bit. Let me back on it, man. Let me get up out of here. Too much traffic, all type of shit in there. All right, man, so as y'all saw from all that, D-Baby showed everybody that he was good and told people not to believe what was getting put out there. To the man that did pass, I sent my condolences, and I want to get y'all thoughts and opinions on this whole situation. Let me know what y'all are thinking down in the comment section below, and if y'all enjoyed this video, make sure y'all smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and hit that notification bell to stay hip to whenever I post. Till next time, we out.